Good morning, friends. Today I'm going to read a fairy tale for you. It's from Sydney Seeker's book of fairy tales. And the story today is called Stone Soup. Remember that fairy tales have been told by many, many people, and they're usually hundreds of years old. So this one we're going to hear today, Stone Soup, also takes place hundreds of years ago. So you might hear some words that are a little unusual we probably wouldn't use today. But see if you can pay close attention to the story and find out what those words mean. Stone Soup. One day in a small town in a lonely part of the country, a child saw three wayfarers coming down the road. Strangers are coming to town, he cried, running through the streets. It said three wayfarers are coming to town. That's an odd word, wayfarer. But the author also told us what it means when the little boy said, strangers are coming to town. So we can tell three strangers are coming, people they don't know. Now, the townspeople had just harvested their crops and were storing away food for the winter. Strangers coming here, said one, they'll have come a long way and they're bound to be hungry. After all our hard work, they'll want us to give them our food, said another. Let's hurry and hide it, said a third. Then we can tell them we have none to share. Mm, so what's their plan to do with all their food? Why are they hiding it? Throughout the town, the people hid their food down in the cellars, up in attics, under floors, behind doors. Then they shut themselves in their houses and lowered the curtains, so it would appear to the strangers that they did not wish to be bothered. The three wayfarers were only poor fellows trying to make their way in the world. When they reached the town, they were hungry and tired. I would like a cup of hot soup, said one. Me too, said the second. Let's ask some of the good people of this town if they will give us some, said the third. So the three friends went to a house and knocked long and hard. After a while, the door opened a crack. We are three weary wanderers, said the first friend. Can you spare a cup of soup for us? No soup here, said a voice inside the house. There's no food at all in this town. You'd best be on your way. And the door was slammed shut. What do you think about the way that the villagers are acting? The wafers tried at other houses with no better luck. At last, one of them had an idea. The fields and gardens in this town have been picked clean, he said. There's food here if we can only get some. We'll have to make stone soup. Hmm, stone soup? What do you think they might be planning? We'll need to gather some things. You start at that house and ask to borrow a kettle, he told one friend. You start at the neighbors and ask for kindling wood, he told the other. I will gather three good round stones. At the first house, the wafer said, since you haven't any food, may we borrow a kettle for our stone soup? Stone soup? How do you make it? asked the townsman. Lend us your kettle and you will see, said the wayfarer. We'll give you a taste when it's done. Is stone soup good? asked the townsman. Nothing is as good when it's done, said the wayfarer. He got the kettle, and his friend got the kindling after telling the neighbor about the stone soup. Then they set about getting matches and buckets of water, mentioning stone soup at each and every house. By the time they were back in the square with the things they had gathered, everyone in town was curious about the stone soup. The townspeople watched from behind their curtains to see what the wayfarers would do. They filled the kettle with water. They built a fire and set the kettle over it. When the water was boiling, they carefully rolled three round stones into the pot. Then they sat down as if waiting for the soup to cook. Okay guys, can you really make soup out of stones? Remember, stones is just another word for rocks. So they're actually boiling rocks right now, waiting for the soup to cook. That's no way to make soup, said a townsman. That stone soup needs some carrots. And, well, I guess I can spare the carrots myself. He ran down to the cellar, took a big bunch of carrots, and brought them out to the wayfarers in the square. Well, it's true, said one wayfarer. Nothing's as good as stone soup with carrots, thank you. He cut them up and dropped them into the pot. Carrots indeed, said a townswoman who was watching from her house. That soup needs onions. She took a big bag of onions from under her floor and dragged it into the square. Ah, nothing's as good as stone soup with onions, said a wayfarer, starting to peel them. Thank you. What's happening to the soup? 
And so it went. Beets and parsnips, celery and potatoes, barley and peas were added to the stone soup. The wayfarers kept stirring and soon the odor of delicious soup filled the air. Everyone in town brought something tasty for the pot. And when everybody had had a taste, they all agreed, nothing is as tasty as stone soup. So a lot of times fairy tales were written to have what we call the moral of the story, right? Or to teach a small lesson. So what do you think the town might have learned about stone soup? Maybe it's better to share than keep everything for themselves, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed our story and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.